We travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. Travel is one of those things that you can buy that truly makes you richer. It makes you richer in moments, in adventures, in stories, and memories. We like to fill our life with adventures and not just things. We like to have stories to tell and not just things to show. Hey you guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video and another vlog. It is a new day here in Cancun. It's about 8 a.m. I'm still defrosting. I'm still defrosting, kind of sleepy. But yes, today we are headed to Isla Mujeres for the whole day. So I'm gonna take you guys along. We have a boat that's gonna take us there. Well, like, a, I think, yeah, it's a boat, not the ferry. We did the boat one, which has like snacks and drinks and stuff on the boat. And then they stop you along the way to do like different things snorkeling and stuff and then we're gonna be a few hours on the island and then come back today so we're doing everything in one day um yeah we're getting ready to leave to go to the pickup point I'm taking my morning vitamins <laughs> even though i don't eat usually i have to take my vitamins with food but i don't want to eat right now so. <laughs> So hot. I don't have any sunscreen on my arms right now. Okay, what are those? Yeah. Uh, it's time for mine. Do our best to be the happiest people. We're the nicest people in the world. Especially that guy right there. That guy, I don't say, todo ese tiene una sonrisa, capitán. Todo ese tiene una sonrisa. Pero llega, llega con el, el trabajo con mucho calor. Entonces, no sé cómo lo aguanta, pero cada día viene con sonrisa. Esa es una cosa que me gusta mucho del capitán. Viene con, the captain comes always with a smile. We're gonna go see this shark that's over there. I think I remember this from the last time I came here, which was years ago. Like, let's go check out the shark. Let's 
So this is where you can swim with the sharks. I don't see them. Is it that? I hit, I hit a sombra. Oh yeah, I see it. Hold on, I'm gonna get closer so y'all can see. Yeah, I remember this little thing. The water looks good. It's so hot. Like we act, we did the snorkeling. I wasn't gonna do it, but I did. Oh, there it is. Mm. That's so cute. Aww. She looks soft. I went in the water. There. I'm gonna walk around to air out a little bit before we have to get back on the boat. And we're going to the next beach. I'm not sure what beach this is, but. I got a coconut ice cream. <laughs> We're walking to Playa Norte. ¿Cuánto falta? Dos minutos. It's so small, like you could just walk the whole thing. But we're here for almost three hours, like two and a half hours. We already ate at the other place, but we may. I didn't eat that much, so we might eat here. We haven't had any seafood. I feel like if we're gonna do seafood, it's here. I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. It's a new day in town. I had a headache yesterday. So I had a headache yesterday, so I'm still like recovering. I still kind of feel the headache, but I feel better. We're at a um, Paris Parisian coffee shop. So cute in here. I got a French sandwich and. I think I got an iced coffee and then from here I'm getting a facial that's why I'm just fresh I don't even I don't even have moisturizer on that's why I feel so dry but I'm getting a facial and then I'm getting wood therapy on my stomach which I probably shouldn't be eating all that much before getting the wood therapy but I'm not gonna eat too much but that's the agenda for right now and then we have the rest of the day free so we'll see what we end up doing. so this is like a mall really cute walk around after my appointment because there's so many little places here they have sephora which i do need a lip gloss look at my skin look at my skin after my facial so don't mind my hair like i got dermaplaning and a hydro jelly mask like a face mask it feels so glowy i'm gonna go take a little walk on the beach right now 
I'm about to put my hair back in a ponytail. I had it in a bun because I just showered, but I didn't wet my face. Like I wanted to keep the products in there. Yeah, I couldn't really film the process because my eyes were covered. <clears throat> and then after that, I got the wood therapy thing done on my stomach area. Um, it felt good. I literally feel like I definitely got the lymphatic drainage that I wanted because as she was doing it, like maybe 10 minutes into the process, like I already felt like I had to go to the bathroom like to pee, which is like a good sign when you're doing lymphatic drainage. That means that everything is like draining and flowing. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to bother her and be like, oh, can I go to the bathroom? So like most of the time, like she was just going and going and I had to pee. Like I just felt it like on my bladder. <laughs> But it was good. I got some good drainage. I feel good. So today I'm just gonna walk. Yes, I'm gonna miss the house. This house was so accommodating. Like it was truly almost 10 out of 10. I will say the only thing was the shower head. We ended up having to go and like buy our own shower head because the one that they had was just splashing everywhere. And the day I had to wash my hair and stuff, like it was just not gonna do it for us. And I just got done drinking my electrolyte water i like to use the drip drop brand i think i've said this before yes stay hydrated on vacation <coughs> oh yeah my headache also got better i don't know if it was like a mix of i don't know if the lymphatic had to do anything with that um, or like maybe peeing a lot like just getting rid of stuff but i just did just have this and yeah it feels better oh yeah when she did my facial she did like massage my head and stuff and it felt so good when i was at the facial i did still kind of feel like somewhat somewhat of a headache but it's much better now and then i had this of course so today is just all about hydration definitely gonna be doing a drip at some point when i get back walk on the beach outfit i'm just gonna take my sandals well obviously i'm gonna have my shoes off but I need to get some more of these shorts. Like, I'm telling you, you need when you travel, be sure you bring, like, athletic wear and things like that. Because I'm telling you, it comes a point in time where you just want to, like, run errands and do stuff. And then all you have is, like, your cute clothes. But I have to get some more of these. I forgot where I got these from, but these are so comfortable. These shirts also, I have these in different colors. Like... It just fits so perfect. I think the shorts, yeah, the shorts are medium and the top is a small. And yeah, this is a little bag that I've been taking everywhere. He's been carrying it this for me, but I'm gonna carry it this time. Did I bring my Yeah, I wanna put some sunscreen like on my arms. Actually, I'm gonna have to just go all the way back upstairs <laughs> to be honest, because I do wanna put more, I do wanna put more sunscreen on my face. Y'all look at the glow, like what? What? I'm gonna start doing dermaplaning way more often. <laughs> that was my first time actually doing it, and honestly, it feels so good just to get like all the little peach fuzz off your face. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back to the bathroom again. <laughs> That's the thing about like a lymphatic drainage massage or anything like that. Like you just be going and going to the bathroom all right so this is we well, all can't see it but this is the la roche posay sunscreen that i use this is just clear i'm just gonna put some more my freckles already are going like crazy over here and that's with sunscreen like y'all <laughs> um if you have freckles you literally know what that is like it's like your freckles just pop like one day at the beach and i already have like more freckles um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use this. <clears throat> oh yeah, she also recommended me to start using hyaluronic acid, so I'm gonna start using that. But my face feels so hydrated, like that hydro jelly mask honestly was so good. Alright, base. This is literally already all the way down the trip here. <laughs> and this was a new one. I was gonna go and get a pedicure today, but I'm gonna just do it at home. <laughs> I don't feel like sitting in the chair. Gosh, I keep looking at my skin like, that's crazy how glowy it looks. And this sunscreen, like, 
It's like I've wore it before and it never looks like this glowy. <sighs> but yeah, everything is pretty much, for the most part, packed up. Ready to roll home. So excited. Um, let me know in the comments, like, what is you guys' usual time? Like, what is an ideal time frame that y'all like to do when you go on vacation? Because me, as much as I love to travel, like, I get homesick. <laughs> Like, I literally get homesick. Like, I start to miss my bed, miss my house, miss my routine. Even though, like, with this trip, we did kind of settle into somewhat of, like, a routine. But still, like, <laughs> yeah. And, like, with this trip, it was kind of practice because I was saying, like, you know, I kind of wanted to do the digital nomad thing and, like, be in one country, like, one month and then, you know, go back home for a while. Then go to another country and be there for, like, a month or two. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like I'm definitely a homesick kind of girl. Like, like I said, as much as I love traveling, like I love home. Like I just love my own home and I love my city and I just like being at home, you know? So, so yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for the digital nomad thing, um, but I did say I, I kind of wanted to try it and just be be in different countries for like extended amount of time but i don't know y'all i feel like i have my limit my limit is definitely like <laughs> i don't even know i would say like two weeks but yeah all in all i'm definitely ready to just roll back home i don't know if i should put pasties on with this um with the other colors i always do have to wear the pasties but i feel like black like very you can't really see Oh yeah, I turned on the active, the face active thing. I haven't used it like at all. I really don't use it all that much when I'm vlogging. I feel like it, it's, I don't know, I'm not used to it. Like I'm just kind of used to just having the camera be in one place. Um, let me see if it follows me into the closet. I do kind of like that because if I leave, come with me. You know what? I do like her little feature. All right, but let me stop yapping. Oh my God, this whole little clip was 13 minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish, you know, putting sunscreen on, whatever. And then, like I said, we're gonna go walk on the beach, maybe eat, you know, just, just wind down, like just do whatever else, little things that we wanna do here in Cancun. It's been a great trip, a great stay. I feel like we've done everything we wanted to do already. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Today we were actually supposed to go and look at properties because that was one of the reasons for the trip. Like we wanted to look at investment properties and stuff. And let me tell you, our realtor, or like the guy that we were in communication with did us so dirty. Like we had a few properties like listed already. Like we've been talking for weeks, like going back and forth, like text, like even way back home. And then we had a list of like three properties, like our top three <laughs> that we wanted to go see. Literally yesterday, I was like, okay, I'm confirming. Like we've been had this appointment like set for like weeks. Even yesterday, like he's like, yeah, see you then, see you then. I was like, okay, like what time and where? Tell me how he's like, oh, two of the properties that you guys want to look at. Like he said that one of them, they were sold out because it's like um condos. And he was like the whole like condo, they're all sold out. Like in the one, like in the one building that we wanted. He's like, oh, all the units are sold out in that one. And he said the other one, they're still like in the development phase. So I guess like they didn't allow any anybody to go to like the showroom and stuff yet. And I'm like are you kidding me like we've been told you this like weeks before this trip like we were trying to get that done for this trip and now you want to pull that on our last day here <laughs> like what do you mean but yeah honestly i feel like it's kind of a sign yeah cancun is one of the places where we would like to have an investment property but it's not like the only place like i still have a few we still have a few other places like in mind and stuff like this was going to be our first one that we were going to look at i was actually more interested in playa del carmen which is still pretty close to cancun but we didn't have anything like set you know for tours and stuff on this trip but <clears throat> but yeah all in all i think it is it's okay i feel like it was almost meant to be um and we'll just see we'll just keep it rolling i mean i do have the information on the other condos but i feel like this man like he was just trying to like show us the most expensive ones and that was probably like my mistake because when i first started talking in communication with him like he asked me for our budget and i told him the budget and i feel like i should not have like i should have just went low 
or just not told them that we had like that kind of budget to invest and like I feel like he took that and ran with it and he just wanted to show us like things that were all the way up like <laughs> like sir this is for investments okay not like this is my condo I'm gonna move to like you know what I'm saying but yeah we did not get to look at any investment properties on this trip but it's, it's all good it's all good all right guys I need to pee and let's just roll out <laughs>